Alright, hello everybody, um, I'm playing Tropico, and apparently I'm on Modern Times. Which I really don't want to be on Modern Times, but I guess that's just how it is. But regardless, um, I'm going to start playing a new game, and actually, I'm thinking I'm going to do, I'm going to do the regular campaign on my own time, but I'm going to do the Modern Times campaign currently. Just because I've done all, all of it, it's just... I had changed computers, so I would lost all of my saved data for this, which I don't really care about. But either way... I go way. on vacation for a year, and the whole world goes down the drain. This is what happens when you leave Penultimo at the helm. Not that it is entirely his fault. I am certain that the so-called superpowers are to blame as well. There is a worldwide crisis on the loose. Wars and armed clashes around the world Riots and protests in Europe, the stock markets are about to crash, banks are going bankrupt, and on top of that, there's a shortage of food. It's the end of the world as we know it. Time for me to step in and bring an end to this crisis. First step, Tropico. After that, the world. Okay, so you heard, you heard his little rant thing. So yeah, that's we, we have to do this. Um, I always make a custom just because I don't like the stuff for uh, the other one, and I think this is actually how I had my guy set up at one point, so I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna change that. Um, I really wish they had better textures for this. I like how they added more costumes now, though. Yeah, I'm gonna make him a vigilante. Trying to... Caucasian will work fine. No, he does not need a fucking top hat. Bowler hat looks like it'd work, though. <laughs> Should give him freaking some bro, yeah. That'll, that would work well. There we go. I guess hair is not really all that important. Pipe. Cool cat eyeglasses. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give him the cool cat. Nah, we'll just give him the scar. Chin stash, mustache, old school. The white herb. Yeah, we'll do that. Background. Just because this sounds like it's going to be a food problem, I'm just going to stick with what I have. And I'll let it say whatever it has to say. going down, we are looking up. When everyone thinks it's time for caution, it's time for action. Dream with me, my fellow citizens of the world. Dream big! So yes, we need to make foody stuff. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, I remember this little island. So yeah, so let's make uh, two fishing wharf thingies. Let's just make one of those. And actually, I know I always do this for... The sake of just because there's not going to have another one that would fit. These two go on the low priority. And then that one on the high. 
Because that one's full. Okay. Let's have two raised cattle. I'm probably doing it very stupid by having them so close. But yeah, let's have two of these guys raising cattle. Because they solve food issues, if you hadn't known. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Farming! And we'll make two corn get we'll make a corn guy there, we'll make a corn guy over here, just so we know he's out of the way. Then I think I still need one more. So why don't I just make another ranch and I'll just uh, I guess I'll just go in between. Okay, let's just have everything fast forward and All food things will go on the high priority list. And I think my phone's going off, so let me check what my phone had to say. I doubt you guys can hear it, because I have it on vibrate. I am sure you remember me, Presidente. I am the UN Inspector Brunhilde van Hoof. And it is my official duty to help you get through the crisis. Unofficially, I have the pleasant task of making you miserable. Just like old times. Okay. It seems like a very bitch move. Workers, corn. Are you a rebel? Come on, guys, work. Work harder. Actually do, actually accomplish something. <laughs> uh. Check out the news, Presidente. A large part of the world is even hungrier than we are. Okay, so we're exporting food now. That's great. We have two buildings. That's good. slowly running out of money guys can we like actually export something these cows aren't gonna last forever We're still getting financial aid. That's helpful, I guess. The hold up. What? A red tree. Okay, hold up. I need to fix that.
Teamsters are doing their job at least. We've gotten a lot of people out of these little shanty things. What's this deal? Timeline? Oh, okay. I guess the timeline is what we expect things to follow, or what we're trying to follow, at the very least. What is it now? Go to this farm, then go to that farm, and then we'll go to the other farm, and we'll go to the other farm. Do 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 Perga's production. Presidente, the workers are organizing themselves for a series of strikes and protests against the crisis. Why they think this will help us resolve said crisis, I quite honestly don't know. If you want something done, do it yourself. No. Okay, uh, education and media. I can afford this. My dear Presidente, do you know that your advisor, Penultimo, spells his name with not one, not two, but five typos? All intellectuals agree that it is high time we build a high school on our island. Some of our workers are on strike. I say we strike them back. Okay. As time progresses, new and advanced buildings become available, Presidente. I present to you my plans for the new Trapimar chain of stores that will replace the old marketplaces as our main food distribution buildings. Construction workers, build it, please. I'll give you $10 an hour. Come on now. I mean a day. Talk fast, I don't have on Yes, please come to the construction site and help them build it. Make it so. Oh, I know what I can do. Social Security. Let's see if this gets anybody out of there. But I have them all at one. Ah, uh, God. I hate the mornings, man. I always feel. I forbid imports. Yes. Ugh. 
nuestro puertorriqueño Enrique Junior López. ¡Estrégate! ¡Estrégate! Well done, Presidente. With the surplus food Tropical produced in the recent months, you managed to put an end to the food scare panic. However, even fed, the population is more scared than ever. The world is supposedly ending next month during the winter. Oh, that's great. I need another fucking newspaper. That that that's gonna be helpful. Hey. We need proper healthcare facilities on our island, Comrade Presidente. <laughs> eh. Sorry. Hold up. I had to move my mouse. Reorganize my little while I'm sitting. I can grow lots of tobacco. <laughs> Which I wasn't going to do, so it's not like it matters. Oops. Oh, oh hold up. What? Modern times. Ban social networking. Yeah. I'll, I'll get right on that. What is it now? Infrastructure. Destroy this road, please. I need to reorganize it. Uh, I have access to a plantation. Actually, I think it needs to go this way. I noticed that there were several shacks near one of your housing buildings. The building itself offers very nice lodgings, but people in the neighborhood cannot afford the rent. Yeah, because a dollar rent is that expensive. <laughs> Although there is only three. Progress does not wait for anyone. I formally apologize for not relaying this urgent message sooner, Presidente. But I was busy watching your pitiful empire crumble in chaos around you. 
Okay, uh, fuck you, bitch. Uh, so I need to make a minister. There we go. I'm really trying to just squeeze this in wherever it will fit, but whatever, I'll just have to do it like this this time. Um, if anybody here, I have to hire people. Figures. Hire people. Hire people. Not, not right now. Sir! The number of rebels on the island is growing higher. We should take action. God does not need temples, my son. God does not need temples, my son, but they should sure are appreciated. Okay, I need two more farms. Get pies. Have that be built. That right there built. <laughs> okay. Now the journalist thing. Okay. Now then, education and media. The grade school. You know what? I think that needs to. Well done, Presidente. With the surplus food Tropical produced in the recent months, you. The workforce of the island is. There is an opportunity here that can make us all rich. Screw it, just quick build it. You're taking too fucking long. Okay, um, actually, now that I actually have this somewhat set up cr better. And I'm gonna just let it kind of sit now. Just because. I have wasted lots of money on this this already, so are for stuff like on this stuff. Is there a good place to make sugar? It's like over here. Over here is fast. Hmm. 
Check out this funny article, Presidente. According to a recently published survey, Tropical is the most dangerous place to live during a hypothetical doomsday scenario, while Madagascar is the safest. Why would you want to live on Madagascar? Sir, the army is in dire need of facilities. Oh, I'm sorry on that one. Growing tobacco as much as we can make of it. Huh, what? Look around, Presidente. See the overflowing garbage can. Intelligence report. Infrastructure, destroy that. Yeah, we need a garbage facility, that's great. <laughs> the doomsday rumors seem to persist. Despite the efforts of your pen pushers and ministers, sir, there is only one thing we can do. Assemble the Doomsday Squad. I really hate quick building stuff just because it's going to cost me more money in the long run, but whatever. that one too. Screw it then. A petition has arrived at the palace. I have some good news, sir. The rebels are afraid of our military's might. Okay. Uh, that's not what that's under.
Okay, let's just make a bunch of these now. Just make six to start off with. Fact, I'll even make another construction area thing. I don't even know what my dude's doing anymore, but whatever. If it's productive, it's productive. If it's not, oh well. The International Health Organization got bored of tracking the llama flu victims, and they have lifted the restrictions on our island. The rebels are launching an attack as I speak, sir. To arms! To arms! I feel sorry for the one rebel. Sara, que fuera, manda ma! Ah, she's dead now. There are 80 fucking people here, and... El Diablo does not agree with your immigration policy, Presidente. How can a true-blooded traffic can find a job and services when flocks of immigrants are constantly arriving on our island? Because I have plenty of jobs. Presidente, a famous Russian dissident... Fuck. Oh, I need to build a TV station, that's right. That's what I needed to do. Hold up. Infrastructure. I don't know, uh... Entertainment? No. Education! TV! It's expensive. Tired of El Presidente's army beating you left, right, and center. You need bigger guns, and we are selling. If you call in the next five minutes, you will also receive a patriotic flag and a free detonator. A patriotic flag and a free detonator, okay. Come on, guys, get this thing built. Talk fast, I don't have all day. Get 
Come on, guys. Build. Build! The panic meter is just going up. <laughs> Who said you guys can sleep? Yes. Because I have the money. What's this? The people demand actions. Your signature on this edict. It's under general. Food for the people. As well as free housing, just so we get rid of the fucking shanties. Fuck, I hate them. Plenty of food, plenty of other things. President, take traffic in the way to like. I'm gonna do religion. And I'm gonna do the USSR. I'm gonna make sure there's low pollution. A lucrative opportunity has presented itself, Presidente. Half of Tropico is convinced that the end of the world is coming, and, strangely enough, they think the tinfoil hats are the only way to survive it. Citizens of Tropico, the importance of the upcoming elections has brought me before you. We are one step closer to our goals. Victory is almost upon us, okay. but we must still push forward. There are long lines in front of confessionals. We shall not deny that. However, the reasons are as clear as day. The overzealous beliefs of the religious faction are only holding us back. The unbreakable friendship and love between Soviet and Tropican comrades ensures the dictate of the people for future generations. Our close relationship and common ideals will help us find a way to overcome all challenges. The past is gone from our shores, but that is not enough. I will bring the future to Tropico. In my next mandate, I shall personally see to it that the pollution on the island is put under control. Fatherland or death, we will win! Okay, infant structure, where's the dump?
Okay then. Um, I guess panic is gonna happen this time around. Those just need to be on the highest priorities to finish. One go to try, President Day cereal. Completely organic for people like you, Sonny. It's made from stuff that even animals won't eat. No cereal can be organic enough. The President Day brand doing okay then? Sure. President Day's so popular, everything with his name sells. Oh, that's right, huh? I need to college. My dear Presidente, the election day draws near. Okay, well. Now I'm just kind of going to sit President. here and wait. And I'll get something for the panic meter when I'm doing it. Ugh. So now I'm just kind of laying down. But, um, uh, actually, I don't know if I'm going to do a lot of Tropico stuff for the rest of the... For the rest of the ge um, like, on my channel. Um, I don't know, like, what exactly I'm going to do on my channel anymore. Some Colombian ah, barons have not larger even, armies than ours, sir. But I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Uh, screw it. Pay them and go away. Don't care. What popped up now. The tropical youth is on the wrong path. They need to be schooled in praising the Lord through rum. Through rum. Yes, no thank you, no thank you, Mr. Priest. I don't want to treat my children with the rum. <laughs> I don't think my kids need to learn in rum. Oh, thank you. You're coming to me. Presidente, I have just spotted an angry mob heading toward the palace with clubs, stones, and Molotov cocktails. No, no, not Mojito, but Molotov. Our treasury balance is negative. Thanks for the People tip. People are marching toward the palace carrying axes, sticks, and random sharp objects. It seems that Tropico is on the brink of a civil war. That's just a belated Labor Day march. They are celebrating, not revolting. Oh. I didn't know. How nice. The fuck? <laughs> I like how some of my people have, like, actual President stuff. Day, our courageous supporters, inspired by you, of course, have protected your palace and your mandate. Okay, then. No, I am not letting my friends know I play the game. Sweetie, I couldn't wait for the night and came to tutor you earlier. I found some new intellectual. Bye. No, thank you. Don't want any.
Presidente, may your children be blessed. Okay, fine. We'll grow beef. Que necesita? A student. Oh, okay, whatever. Tropical is currently short on cash. Penultimo, what is your stance on the situation? I blame you, Sonny, by refusing to date me. You are blocking the economy. Oh, all right then. Is eight o'clock tomorrow okay? Whatever. Now I'm just kind of. wonder how long it would take him to go over there. Yes, I know foreign relations fell because of national debt. Pollution, man. It's fucking me over. Presidente, our treasury balance is currently below $10,000. We managed to get me. There is a crisis of command in our army, sir. Yes, I know. Actually, let me continue out this road. Let's do that. And let's go back and get around. And Let's do that and then go and go up. Now then, food. Ooh, an or wow, actually, it makes a lot of. That's good. I did not- I wasn't expecting to see that, though. Presidente, a most wonderful thing has occurred. Mother Nature is happy! I'll have to... We're getting college graduates out of this, thank god. Thank god I'm not important to anything. Lauren Lida, the mighty Chinese dragon is hungry for your goods. No, I, I, I don't want to make cars. That seems like a very dangerous task. Comrade, I have a secret task for you. Okay, hey, I finally have cash. Um, that play's probably, like, overloaded. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's make another garage. make one right next to it and then we'll make another one over here just cuz it fits well, I'll hold up our plantations out of style yet no apparently not <laughs> 
Thank God for me. Logging camp, do your job. Get rid of all the trees. That needs to be on the high to-do list. Really? There's a student protest? Oh, that's right. Hold on. I promised to make a church. Government. Actually, no, it's not government. I'll build one. I did promise. I'll build it right here, too. And now I'm just gonna sit here. Okay, I thought I had plenty of housing, apparently not. President, I have just spotted them. Wow, the entire like place is mobilized. Thank god I have so many loyal supporters. Alright. No. Maybe buying everything for this was a bad idea. Presidente, our courageous supporters in Heavy tra- oh, that's right. I didn't exactly make this smart. Oh, I don't have the cash, that's right. Presidente, the secret operation carried out by our Minister of Defense was- I don't think we had anything to export this time, though. Violence broke out in Tropico as the army tried to remove Reverend Esteban from the pub and get him to start the first service in the new church. Several soldiers are missing, presumed drunk. The Reverend had this to say. Get me another one. And make it a big one. <laughs> yeah, he, he's someone I want. Come on. One of you assholes has to be religious. <laughs> Okay, well, whatever. All that I know is that I need to sit here for like 20 minutes and wait. Hopefully. <laughs> Damn, I feel sorry for that one dude. Peace and love, dear president. No, I need cash. What do you want? I'm busy ruling. Yes, President, you're gonna need a. Mm -hmm. Holy hell! Those llamas and goats. President, <laughs> the earthquake is over. Hey, oh, the, I can't even afford it. She just blow up the place. I just made it too. What the fuck? A most wonderful thing has occurred. Mother Nature is happy. Mother Nature happy? Never heard of it. Mm. I've never heard of a happy Mother Nature. There have been four graduates. Oh dear god. It's like every dude who graduated college is like, I'm going here. I, I'm gonna graduate, I'm gonna work at college now. Shit.
I'll say this, plenty of people were visiting. Oh hey, we finally have another dude in there. Stuff seems to be getting better-ish. Uh, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna build a wall of these damn things, and then I'm gonna make a garage. Infrastructure garage. And there goes all of my cash for like three seconds, and I'm not gonna make anything. Presidente. On hot topic today, housing. Don't you think there are too many homeless people on the island, Penultimo? Homeless? If there were a single homeless person in Tropical, I would personally build him his very own shack. Yeah, but to live in a shack... A home is a home is a home, Sonny. Today's shacks are tomorrow's mansions, as long as we faithfully follow El Presidente, right? Right. Presidente, you have been living in this musty old palace for too long. It's time to move forward with the times. We can import a presidency from abroad. Cancel these two. Ninety-seven thousand. Okay, then. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna pause, and I will be back Resident in a minute. I have just and actually, hold up. Mom. That's. I just kind of want to know who wins this, and I'm gonna pause it. Yeah, a as my population goes down. So this is going to happen constantly. Fuck. Presidente, our courageous... I was going to show you some charts, Presidente, but... Okay, police. Yes, yes, police. Okay, I will be back in a moment. And I really... Okay, yeah. I'll be back in a moment, guys.
Wonderful Presidente! Carpe the diem, Presidente. We need to take the... Presidente, Tropicans await elections next year. They wish to show their everlasting love and respect for you. They may have... of the upcoming elections has brought me before you. We are one step closer to our goals. Victory is almost upon us, but we must still push forward. Yes, there are problems. There will always be problems, especially in the current economic situation. The pollution in the cities, about which I hear so much these days, is one of them. And it will be resolved, as will all others, in time, as the global economy stabilizes. Through the years of my presidency, I have received your gratitude, my compañeros. Alas! I am nothing but a humble servant, and you are my masters, my employers. Now I bow to the superior morality of the religious tropicans, who absolve our sins in the face of God. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow will come after the victory, and I have plans for tomorrow. God is my witness that during my next mandate we will build a cathedral worthy of our piety in tropical. The future of tropical requires our victory.
My dear Presidente, the election day draws near. Congratulations, Presidente. You have won the elections. Presidente, the progress of the students in my... My son, apostates are among us. The militarist faction has elected a harlot for a leader whose lips have never touched liquor. That woman is a pestilence upon the land, a demon of the female variety. Presidente, I have just spotted an egg. Presidente, our courageous support.
I've never seen so many smiling people on the streets. It's almost like all mothers-in-law suddenly left the country.
Para bailar no hay igual Tú me pediste que toque una rumba Como una rumba mamá Para bailar no hay igual Si yo te toco una rumba Y si tú no me la bailas, la rumba no canto más. Oye, si no quieren guarachear, la rumba no canto más. Mira, si no quieren disfrutar, Ambassador Crane, our listeners are probably dying to know the answer to my next question. What is your favorite animal? Well, Miss Flowers. When I first came to your island, I was struck by the beauty of one of your magnificent creatures, the llama. It reminds me of my mother. Oh, llamas. I don't like llamas. They are rude and spit at you. Just like my mama. Residente, you may not like it, but people want to see your thing. Digo ustedes, no pa' vos y en la conga, sacude que te fanga. Excelencia.
Presidente, I have just spotted an angry mob heading toward the palace with clubs, stones, and Molotov cocktails. No, no, not mojito, but... Ambassador Lord Chutney, in order to find out more about the growing friendship between Tropical and the EU. I just came back from a splendid luncheon with my dear friend El Presidente. I can assure you that as long as I get to eat your scrumptious tropical scones with my tea, the relations between our countries will remain splendid. Great calamity, Presidente. Presidente, the recent rock concert organized by your Minister of Foreign Affairs was a smashing success. Presidente, it is an earthquake. Good thing the palace is sturdier than most. The earthquake is over, Presidente. I am happy to... Presidente, China has requested that several countries from the Middle East increase their oil production quota. Their request has been denied and there is much diplomatic tension.
볼게. 레지던테 our treasury balance is currently below $10,000. The World Development Bank has imposed a ban on our spending. 
blow hurt the most. A drought, Presidente. Mother Nature is gently reminding us how many resources we consume. Presidente, I have just spotted an angry mom. Tropical? Record temperatures today. Everyone is rushing to cool off in the ocean. Farmers are worried about the fate of the crops, and the weather ahead is predicted to be extremely sunny and hot. Just like you, my dear. My friend, I know I promised you my second best camel as a gift, but she died. Tragic. Presidente, our courageous supporters inspire. It's raining, man. Presidente, traffic in the way. People of Tropico, the importance of the upcoming elections has brought me before you. We are one step closer to our goals. Victory is almost upon us, but we must still push forward. Yes, there are problems. There will always be problems, especially in the current economic situation. The shacks in the cities, about which I hear so much these days, is one of them. And it will be resolved, as will all others, in time, as the global economy stabilizes. Through the years of my presidency, I have received your gratitude, my compañeros. Alas! I am nothing but a humble servant, and you are my masters, my employers. I, in turn, want to show my gratitude to the brave defenders of Tropico and all militarists. No one can deny the amazing development that is happening in Tropico within just one mandate. I have an even more astonishing future in store for all of you. As part of my reform plan for my next mandate, I shall see to it that the size of our army is increased. This speech is no propaganda. You will know it after our victory. Wonderful new prison you have constructed, Presidente. Simply marvelous. 
Let's see if I can fill it for you. My dear Presidente, I am not giving you a choice, Presidente. A prison ship full of convicted criminals is en route to your island. You are hereby ordered to accept them as trafficking citizens. Like we are stuck in a vicious spiral, President. Buena tarde. Uh huh. No me interesa. Sí. Buenas tardes. ¿Qué necesitas? 
¿Qué necesita? ¿Excelencia? ¿Qué ocurre? No me interesa. Ajá. Muy buena. Buenas tardes. Buenos días. ¿Qué? No me interesa. ¿Qué ocurre? Muy buenas. Buenas tardes. Shooting people is not a game. <sighs> My team is winning. Venerable leader, some mighty Chinese dragon has a request.
jo kuuri. No, me interesa. Excelencia. Muy buena. Excelencia. Presidente, I have something for you. President, the U.S. Senate is not happy with you and expects urgent measures. Muy buena. Uh-huh. No me interesa.
Sometimes I feel like the whole world is conspiring to bring us. Sir, this is unacceptable. I have a secret task for you. Tropico is going green. A new program started by El Presidente will lower pollution by stopping power to random buildings.